coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Okay, real talk time. Uh, I wanted to do this video about two months ago. Um, and I was trying to figure out a way to make this constructive video useful to some of you. Um, and I'm on the struggle bus. So while this is an is it worth the hype video, it's more of a I'm kind of disappointed in this brand video. So we're going to jump right in and we're going to talk about the newest edition or seriously? You just did this just one video ago. You want to do it again. All right. So Sophia's going to share her thoughts on the new Sol de Janeiro product. So what do you want to say? It smells like popcorn and you hate it? Can totally relate. Mm-hmm. Fist bump. <laughs> what do you want to say? You hear the intro, you run over, and then nothing. You give me nothing. You know, sometimes you just got to let go of a dream. You do. You just got to go get a degree and just let go of the dream of being a YouTuber. Because you just, you can't just stare. You, you can't just stare and then think people are going to watch your videos. Got to do something else. What do you guys think? Should I do a poll? Would you watch Sophia's channel? She just awkwardly stared at you like this? She's not even looking at you. <laughs> You're the worst. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so a few months ago, I received this in the mail. Um, I lost my poop. I was so excited because... A new addition to the Sol de Janeiro moisturizing products. A new member, something that wasn't body splash, something that wasn't a shimmer lotion, something that was an actual type of lotion. I was like, <laughs> I'm about to surrender my firstborn for more of this product. So that was my idea. I was like, holy mackerel, this is the first time that they launch another type of lotion. I was like, how can you launch an additional product after you had such a success with Boom Boom Cream, right? So the original, the Boom Boom Cream, is the one that's supposed to tighten. It's the one that has that gentle glow that makes you look like you got kissed by a unicorn. Uh, they also have the Acai one, which also has tightening properties. I don't prefer the scent. Um, but, uh, you know, it has its own little footing to stand on. It's the same type of texture. It's creamy. It's delicious. This one came out. It retails for the same amount. It has the same amount of product. It is eight ounces and it's $45. Um, the innovation with this one is that it's an oil that's suspended in a water gel moisturizer. So it's supposed to hydrate your skin, give it like that thirst quench property, um, and then allow you to stay hydrated for up to 72 hours. So it's supposed to kind of seal it in and keep you feeling hydrated for 72 hours. So let's talk about the obvious stuff. It's uh, priced very high, which I never ever question the money that I spend on Boom Boom Cream. I go through it. If you guys watch my empties, if you don't, I'll link them in the description box below. Every empties without fail, there's at least two Boom Boom Creams in there. I do my empties quarterly, so that's at least $90 that I spend on Sol de Janeiro. So I'm a firm believer, I'm a lover of the product. It's gonna be in my 2018 favorite products. So I kind of put all my eggs in this basket. I was super excited. And upon first whiff, you're like, oh yeah, it smells like popcorn. Is anyone gonna say it? Is anyone gonna talk about that? Are people going to stop talking about how it smells like coconut and delicious and actually talk about how it smells like popcorn? <laughs> Is anyone? <laughs> Am I alone here? Um, okay, so not a humble brag, just a random fun fact about me. Um, my auditory senses and my olfactory senses, my hearing and my smell, my smelling, my smelling ability have always been like crazy. Like I'm a dog basically. Um, and so I smell things a lot stronger. When I initially tried Boom Boom Cream, um, I thought it was too intense. I was like, this burns my nose. It's going to offend the people around me. It's way too strong. And now it's perfect for me. It's, it's delicious. It's sexy. It's musky. It's vanilla-y. It's sweet. It has hints of caramel, maybe a little almond. It's 
amazing. Plus it makes your skin look like flawless. It's almost like makeup for your skin. It is a regular type of body cream or body butter. It's extremely emollient and I can't rave about it enough. This one smells like movie theater popcorn. Like if you were to walk into a movie theater and you get that instant whiff, that is what it smells like. And it doesn't stop smelling that way. Um, if you guys like Jelly Belly buttered popcorn jelly beans, I'm a fan. I love those. I will go through three pounds of them. I don't want to smell like that though. And so I was like, okay, you know what? Forget the smell because certain things smell certain ways. And if I'm going to do a review on a product, I can't say I don't like it because of the smell because not everyone's going to like the same things that I like. Different people like different scents, right? So that is not a just review. So I was like, take the scent away, take away the fact that you're smelling like a movie premiere um, and talk about just the formula. It is an oil that's suspended in a gel lotion, right? Or a gel moisturizer. It's a hybrid product. It does not hydrate. Um, I have crocodile skin. Um, I'm part dog, part crocodile, <laughs> and my skin is dry. So I need something that's going to feel nourishing, that's going to feel like a hug, that's going to keep me hydrated throughout the day. So if you're not going to smell like anything, that's fine, but at least give me some beauty benefits. So um, this isn't a product that is uh, firming or cl claims to do anything like the Boom Boom Cream says, oh, hey, look, we give you the appearance of like smooth skin because of the shimmer that's in it. We have um, gu Guarana extract in it, so it's tightening. This one is a moisture magnet, oil and water body cream. <sighs> Let's just forget that it smells, you know, like a movie premiere, sorry. Um, it is a gel. It's a gel that applies really beautifully. It feels amazing when you touch it. It has this very silky gel-like, you know what it reminds me of? Um, great, now I'm going to smell like a movie theater. My son's going to be like, Mom, did you go to the movies without us? Um, it feels really nice. It absorbs into the skin like, um, have you guys ever tried the Ginseng um, Facial Moisturizer from Origins? That's the texture of it. It has that like silky gel-like feel to it. And so I imagine that it would not only hydrate my skin and make it feel nourished, it would also keep me hydrated throughout the day. So rather absorb into the skin, but also remind me that I'm still wearing some sort of moisturizing product on my skin. Once it gets absorbed, it leaves a really tacky, feeling to the skin. If you guys have ever suffered from a sunburn and you apply aloe vera, you know that feeling after you apply aloe vera that you have that gel on your skin? I don't know if you guys can hear. It sticks. That's what it feels like. So I completely, 100% appreciate Sol de Janeiro's thoughtfulness. I love that they use gourmand ingredients. I love that the fragrance in here, you can tell it's good stuff. It stays on the skin. They're putting high quality perfume in this product, which by the way is cruelty free and vegan. Um, they, they care about the quality of their products. I just feel like all in all, if you're someone that was looking for an innovative lotion-like product, hydrating product, moisturizing product, you're gonna be very, very disappointed and underwhelmed with the formula of this product if you're okay with the scent. So I feel like it's almost like a double negative for me in terms of my personal use. I can't get behind the scent, I can't. And every time I apply it, I can't help but feel like I'm just wasting my time and money. I'm wasting my money, I'm wasting my time because it feels nice while I'm applying it, but after the fact, I don't like how I smell, my skin feels sticky, and I don't even feel like it hydrated my skin. I feel like I'm just putting gel on my skin and nothing else is occurring. So I thought about this for two months, you guys. For two months, I thought about how can I pivot, pivot? How can I pivot this review or worth the hype video into options? How can I sell this product um, 
to other consumers. So if you have really dry skin like me, hey, it's not for you. Hey, if you have a really sensitive olfactory scent or you don't like to smell like popcorn, it's not for you. But who is it for? Who could it be for? I could see this maybe being a good product for those of you that don't have issues with dry skin. Um, that tend to have more of an oilier skin, that don't require lotion, but you do want to smell like you're wearing a gourmand type fragrance and like this scent, then it might be of benefit to you. I also see this as a really good product for maybe uh, during the summer when you don't want to use a very heavy body cream like Sol de Janeiro's Boom Boom Cream. I don't care what season of the year it is, Boom Boom Cream will always be all over my body, okay? <laughs> Even if I'm not showing my legs, I'm still doing that shimmer lotion on the legs, okay? So, Sol de Janeiro's had a bunch of hits. My favorite lip balm, is their Brazilian Kiss. My favorite body lotion or body cream or body butter is their Boom Boom Cream. Um, I did not have very good luck with their Body Splash, the original. It doesn't um, go well with my body's chemistry. It stinks on me, but I gave it to my friend. It smells amazing on her. So there are options. Sam's Holy Grail Body Wash is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Brazilian Wash. I don't know what it's called, but their body wash, Sam's Holy Grail. So their products are always a hit. I can't, I can't spin this for you guys. <laughs> I will though do this. I challenge you to walk into a Sephora. Go into a Sephora store, smell it for yourself, and maybe figure out if it's a scent that you love, that you can grow to love, that you can appreciate. Because it's definitely something that is either gonna take some getting used to, or you either love it or hate it kind of thing. You know what I mean? So this one has a very, very, very intense scent that is going to be hard to appreciate um, if you have a sensitive nose. So I find the scent very challenging to appreciate for the vast majority. Um, also, another thing to note is that they do use fine quality um, perfume or parfum type ingredients in here. So the gel will eventually change color. So if you're someone that gets uncomfortable with products that shift or change, you might feel like you're wasting your money. It's not going bad, it just changes in color. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but on the inner rim, do you see that shading, how it's a little bit darker? Um, that's kind of what the color it would change into. That's kind of what the color that it would change into looks. So I'm very disappointed because I wanted to love it. I wanted it to be another addition to my Sol de Janeiro family, you know? But unfortunately, it's not. And um, I tried it for December. December is one of my driest months. That sounded very uncomfortable. <laughs> December, uh, January, and February are when my skin is the worst. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna give this a good shot. And I smelled like popcorn for all of December. So I'm just throwing that out there. I will list it and link it in the description box below. I really wanna hear your feedback. Do you find these reviews useful? If I can't find uh, a use for this product if I can't find someone that I think would like it. Do you still find this video useful? Let me know in the comment section below. If you yourself have tried it, let us know in the comment section below because your feedback is just as important as mine. Um, I'm still very bewildered um, from watching all those Instagram posts and stories and everyone's like, oh my God, it smells like coconut. It smells so good. It reminds me of summer. You know, it's making winter feel like a drag. Everyone's super excited, like celebrating the launch of the body mist of this same product. And so everyone was like, yeah, it smells like coconut. And you guys, I got FOMO. I got FOMO about it. I dug it back out when I was contemplating doing this review, right? So I put it back away, put it back here where I do all my other, I put my products that I review. So I put it back here and they launched their body splash and everyone is saying how much they love it, how good it smells, how it reminds them of summer and cocoa and it's sexy and this and that. And I was like, does it really? Okay, maybe it just, maybe it's just me. Let me try again. Nope, still smells like popcorn. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Facts. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below if you've tried it, if you like it, if you hate it, if you love it, what your experience has been, or if you find these types of re reviews. Why am I having so much trouble with the word review? If you find this review useful, let us know in the comment section below. Um, I'm sorry, I come bearing bad news for you, but at least uh, my lip color is drugstore and I'll also list a link it in the description box below. <laughs> I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, what am I doing? If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.
subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys! <laughs>